What's up, bro? How you doing? Sure, how are you? This is Brian Sheckler, and this is Beyond the Athlete. We're here at the Roosevelt Hotel, and I'm going to try to give you guys a uh, day in the life of kind of what I do. So uh, let's go inside and meet Michelle, and see what's happening. What's so, Michelle, up, Brian? How are you? Cool. Good to see you, bro. How exciting we have you for the day. For the day. We kidnapped you for the day. You got now, me. You always know how to travel in style, and I know we're here at the Roosevelt Hotel. We are. I want to see the suite. I heard you were saying, like, best to get suite in this place. Yeah, well, I mean, it's just uh, it's called the Thompson Suite, but yeah, we can go check sure. it out for sure. I really like the Roosevelt Hotel. I don't know what it is about the hotel. I've, uh, I've been staying here for the last, I don't know, probably five years. Right. And... Uh, last year actually was the most special year. I won uh, I won the X Games last year, and I stayed uh, I stayed at this hotel. I brought all my friends out. I bring everyone out. We get you know we get all these rooms in a row. And uh, so you run deep. You always travel in entourage. I mean, yeah, I don't I don't like to call it my entourage. My best friends, <laughs> you know, they come. Yeah. And nowadays I'm traveling, you know, almost uh, yeah, almost seven months out of the year, which is. Insane. I never ever thought it You're would, never home. Yeah, not at all. So you always have to do it right. You know, when you're traveling, you, you got to have, like, your requests. You got to have that homey feeling, well, you know? And it's got to be a place where I can just relax, you know? I don't like, totally. you know, the small little rooms. It, it has to be a suite. It has to, you know, it, it's, be the it's so suite. crazy. It's so Only doing it big with Ryan Sheckler. All right, well, we're on the 10th floor. This is, uh... Spot where the uh, Thompson Suite is. Mm -hmm. 1010, room 1010. Ten. Can't tell anyone though. This is it right here. Oh. Uh, Sweet 1010. Uh, uh, oh, Steve. Oh, Steve. Because Andrew Steve gave him the wrong key. That's the key that you give to the groupies, right? They're like, hey. <laughs> no, it doesn't work. Oh. <laughs> and then Steve comes through. Always last minute. Dude, see, I hate ha I hate meeting Steve. I like it. Very yeah. modern, very cool, hardwood floors. Is this your style? I don't know. It feels like my house almost in a way. It's just really relaxed, really mellow. It just lets me think, you know? I like to wake up and just think about my life and things that are going on, especially for, uh, you know, X Games time. It's big enough to have a few friends in here and just keep it, uh, keep it mellow, keep it game time. How long does it take for you to get ready from, like, beginning to end? Like, how much do you spend on, on your hair? On uh, a Well, the hair recently has been kind of just a uh, dead issue. I don't know. It's just like, it's long now. I don't really know what to do with it. Yeah. So I kind of don't do it at all. So you just wear a hat on. <laughs> so that doesn't take too long. But to find an outfit, normally, it's just, it takes forever. It takes I hate time. it. I hate it. Do you ever get a chance to have, like, a home-cooked meal? Because you're never home. Oh, yeah, my mom cooks uh, Taco Tuesdays every once in a while. Taco Tuesdays, huh? Yeah. She's a good cook? She's the best cook. Yeah? Money Cup and X Games. How do you mentally prepare for both? Because I mean, it's, it's all at one time a year. The Money Cup is the gnarliest contest of the year, you know. So we right off start with a bang and have that contest, and then it's kind of you know you can kind of just mentally follow it from there and right. get ready for the other contest. Because right. it's like oh, I already it's did like this one. one yeah, exactly. Right. So before you actually you know even start the whole season, what is your training process like? Uh, my training you know normally involves uh, I ride uh, I ride a road bike three times a week, 20 miles. Uh, Try to get my cardio up, and then uh, you know just a lot of running, a lot of weight training, uh, and skating. A lot of skating. It. Where do you usually skate in practice? Uh, I skate in San Clemente a lot. Uh, I have my uh, my warehouse that I skate at, my uh, my facility, and then uh, just kind of everywhere. I skate anywhere that I can go. So we're gonna go down in the pool. My favorite spot. That's the like pool? The, yeah, the Tropicana pool here is amazing. I like the pool. The Ryan Sheckler Foundation is a huge part of your life. You yep. also have this thriving skateboard career and the clothing line and so many things you're doing. How do you balance everything? Uh, you know, I don't know. It's kind of crazy. It's, everything is kind of just uh, starting to work out right now. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, we're doing... Uh, I just finished... Uh, bunch of projects and uh, I just keep everything going, keep the wheels moving and uh, mm -hmm. just work with uh, Axe Body Spray. Uh, I did a commercial called the uh, Double Pits of Chesty, which I saw is it. very entertaining. Amazing. It's very funny. I couldn't tell if you really made it over that golf cart. I was just skating and I went off the ramp and they had the golf cart on the other side and now, you know, on the, <laughs> on the TV it looks like I ollied over the whole thing. Can you, so do cool. you think you can actually jump that high? Uh, no, no way. Really? I would, How I would high? 
high have you ever drunk off? Uh, how high have I ever jumped? Uh huh. On the mega ramp. If I go off the mega ramp, I think I'm going like 15, 20 feet high. Uh huh. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. So. Do you ever have a moment when you're like in the air and you kind of freak out and go, what the hell? Yeah, no, but that's my favorite time. That's yeah. the favorite time when I'm in the air and it's like, it, right. if it gets kind of sketchy, like that's kind of cool to, you know, try to figure out how you're going to get out of a fall. You know, that's what, yeah. that's what I like about skateboarding. You've told me before that you've broken your elbows like yeah. what, 10 times? Uh, time? Yeah, I think, I think we're pretty close to number it's 10 on, right on, there. on the elbows. Yeah, no, it, it looks broken all the time, but it's just, it's normal. It's, it's fine. Normal. Yeah. That's a rock star elbow right there. That's my, that's my war wounds. <laughs> For sure. And you, I see all these cool tattoos that you've got here. Now, were these all planned out or were they like a spontaneous? Um, most of them were planned out. Uh, some of them were spontaneous. Stay alive. Got my fear god. Got shut on my back. I just got a new chest piece. Uh oh, ladies, you want to see the chest? Just kidding. Can't do it. Well, not only you know are you like, you know this amazing skater, you have like this great career, but you also are a heartthrob. Like so many women, like are constantly chasing you. I'm sure you get fans galore. Any girls coming up to you crying all the time? Yeah, that happens. <laughs> that happens, and I'm like, what are you crying for? <laughs> Stop crying! Like, it, it make me feel bad. Like, I, yeah. I'm sorry. It's probably really hard, you know, for you on the road to like maintain friendships and relationships. Do you have, you know, time for a girlfriend? Do you no. make time for it? No. Um, I mean, I, I could definitely make time for a girlfriend, but. Right. Uh, as of right now, it's just, it's too hard. It's way too hard. You know, I don't want to put that stress on a girl. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be on a tour thinking about, you know, what she's doing at home and, and right. so I can't do it. She's thinking about what you're doing on the road. Exactly. <laughs> we and, know how that yeah. goes. Yeah, you know, I just, if I have a girlfriend, I gotta be faithful, so. Of course, that's the way to do it. Make sure it works. When you do think of a girlfriend type, what do you look for in a girl? Like, what would uh, you It's all like personality. It's 100% uh, yeah. personality, and uh, whether or not she can, you know, get along with my friends, right. get along with my family, get along with my mom, my manager. That's definitely that's the biggest, yeah, right. so. Uh, you know, I don't know. I just don't like to go through the trial and error. I actually hung out with Rob Deerdick at the oh, yeah? factory, and he made me go in the foam pit. Yeah. It didn't work. He was scared for my life. He was like, I, I really don't want you to die right now, so I'm going to let you go on the board, and I did it for the first time. And I was so it? wobbly. It sucked. Yeah? I wasn't good. He okay. you going. I want to see if he could teach me, like, the ABC of skateboarding. I got you. Okay. Let's go do it. Yeah, are you regular or goofy? I'm goofy. You're goofy. Okay. <laughs> All what right. does that mean? Uh, I look goofy to you? right foot forward or left foot forward. Oh, I'm this way. You're regular. That's yeah. how I am. Okay. That's the best way. What's the whole process? I think the whole Eight. process of skateboarding is just balance. It's, it's all a balance game. You know, if you can okay. figure out how to keep your body, you know, straight and, and still move with the skateboard, right. you know, that's, uh, that's the key. For sure. Okay. Are you going to catch me if I fall? I'm going to catch you if you fall, but okay. I don't think you're going to fall. Okay. Here we go. I got the sandals on. All right. I'm ready to go. This is going to be better than ever. Okay. All right. All you got to do is roll to me. Okay. Just roll to you. Oh! Natural. You're not, I don't even need to catch you. You're natural. I know. It was a shoe. Yeah. You know, it's all about the shoes. Those are definitely not proper <laughs> skateboarding shoes. <laughs> so much fun. So, X Games are coming up, and yep. it's, you know, big time of year for you. You're great. You're the defending champion. Yep. What do you do, you know, to prepare for, like, such a huge competition? Especially because everybody has such high expectations for you. I don't know. I kind of deal with it the same way I deal with it every year. You know, it's, right. uh, it's just another contest, just another you know another season of skateboarding, and right. uh, you know I'm gonna take it uh, take it one contest at a time and go slow and just uh, have fun and right. you know keep a positive attitude. How do you feel about the competition this year? You got P Rod, you got TK, you got Chris. I feel great. I feel really? great. I feel uh, I feel like I'm I'm right with the guys and I'm ready for the year and you know I'm just ready to. Keep uh, keep progressing the sport and just keep getting better. That's all I want to do is just get better. So if you weren't skating, would you have any other career choice? Yeah, I'd be racing cars. For sure. Really? Yeah. What cars, do you love about it? It's fast. I just like going fast. Started out when you're so young. What really made you get into skateboarding? I don't know. I was always like a little like troublemaker. I was a little, just a little demon child. You were? And uh, I don't know. I was always getting you know on top of the roof. I got electrocuted real bad when I was three years old. And uh, I think after I got electrocuted, I started skating, and really? yeah, it was like, like boom, therapy. instantly. Skateboarding was, you know, my life, and and I've always been around the skateboard, I've always been on it uh, since I was 18 months old, and you know, I just loved it. I was in a surf skate community, and it's right. nothing to do but you know, skate and surf. So. So this is all you know. Thank Thanks you for much. spending the day with us. Now we know what Ryan Settler is like beyond the athlete, and I think we're gonna send you off. You deserve. A skateboard, actually. I brought you a skateboard. You did? Yep. Oh, my God.
and it's pink and blue. Perfect color. My favorite color. Thank you, Ryan. Oh, this is amazing. Great. I appreciate it. No worries. Thanks. This is Ryan Shetler, Beyond the Athlete, and uh, I got other things to do. So I'll see you guys, uh, see you guys in the future.